the first thing we want to do for our owl baby's artwork is add some texture to our branch and this is going to be some real texture and you might think this sounds crazy but we are going to crumple up our paper it's going to make some cool wrinkles the more little wrinkles and crumples you can make the better uh, but you just want to make sure you when you peel it back out you do it really slowly so that you don't rip anything so make sure you really carefully unwrap that Ooh, I'm liking how those wrinkles are looking that looks like a nice branch if you unwrap it and you think oh I still need more wrinkles then guess what you just wrinkle it again so you can just keep wrinkling and unwrinkling until you feel pretty good about how the wrinkles look Ta-da! And then our next step is that we need to glue it. When you glue it, you want to make sure you leave some space underneath too, so it looks like it's just floating in the sky. You don't want to glue it right down at the bottom or then it just looks like the ground, like they're sitting on the ground. So we'll be putting a little bit of glue all over it so that it'll stick. Flip it over and stick it on there. Oh man, I kind of just unwrinkled it when I smoothed it. You might not want to rub it like how I just did. That was probably a bad example. I'll take it off and try it again. So, I've got my wrinkles. I'm just gonna pat it down. Then it doesn't ruin my wrinkles. That looks a lot better. The final step for today, um, next time we'll be painting and adding more details, but today we just want to add the owl's little bodies. And I'm going to use my hand to trace, which is kind of fun. Um, our hands can make all sorts of shapes and be a really good way to trace things. So um, I'm going to start with my biggest owl first. He's going to be over here. And I'm going to have my hand with my fingers together. You don't want to trace it. You know how sometimes you learn to trace your hand like this and do your fingers? We're not doing that. We're going to put our hand together and we're going to do a really loose trace just a circle over it so you're not going to be tracing each little finger no 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 we're tracing our whole hand so i'm going to put it close over to this side and i kind of want it to be above the branch their feet are going to be touching the branch so you don't want your owl baby to be like in the middle of the branch right that looks silly so on top of the branch and then i'm just going to do a loose trace again i'm not really doing my whole fingers i'm not trying to get the details of my fingers. I'm just using that as an oval shape. And there's my first. That's kind of hard to see the pencil, but you can see it just is a loose oval, okay? So our first shape is our hand. The next shape we're gonna do is our fist. So I'm gonna bend my fingers in like this and put that right next to it. And again, we're doing that same, just kind of loose oval. You don't have to trace every detail loose oval you can overlap it on the branch just a little bit i'm going to connect like those two lines i can just connect them oops same thing on that side okay so now i've got my big owl my medium owl and now we need the tiny owl and we're going to use just three fingers three little fingers stuck right together we don't want them spread out like this stick them together put them on the branch and then you just trace your little oval and connect it on top of the branch a little bit Ta -da. all right there we have it i've got my big owl my medium my small next time we're going to be all ready to paint it we do really want to add our name to the back so i'm going to write my name Brittany. you're going to write your name and i'm also going to write what grade i'm in if i'm in kinder i'm going to make a k if i'm in first grade i'm going to make not a k i'm going to make a one and you're the first letter of your teacher's name so if you're in Miss Ramos's class, you make an R. You know how to do that. Write your name and your class code. Ta-da!